Hey, hey, how's it going? Jeff from Deep Cycle Battery, San Diego. This is our how-to series about hooking up a solar panel kit to a battery so you have power. This video stemmed because a customer reached out to me. They want to know how to run their CPAP machine. And uh, nowadays these solar companies provide everything you need in a box. We sell them here at the shop. And what this video is going to show you, real simple, it's not rocket science. You, hook, you take a, a solar panel. This particular solar, pa solar panel is a 100 watt monocrystalline. And the panel, I believe, measures uh, 22 inches in width and about 47 inches in length. On the back, and it's got an aluminum frame. It's a rigid panel. On the back, you have a male and female uh, MC4 cable coming out of it. The, <coughs> the reason why I'm showing you that is because the sequence is the. Uh, it's real simple. This panel connects to a charge controller. So we're going to collect electrical sunlight. Um, and then use the sunlight as energy to power our charger. This is called a charge controller. This particular charge controller is actually very, very good. It's called an MPPT by Renogy. It's very, very efficient. It's rated, I believe, at 40 amps. The charge controller it does exactly what it says. It charges my battery. So this one wires from the solar panel to here, from here to my battery. This battery is a full force group size 31. That's how we call it. But it's a full force 110-12. What that means is 110 amp hours and it's 12 volt. No liquid, completely sealed, very safe. You can lay it like this, no problem. You can lay it up like this, no problem. No gas, no liquid, no acid to get in your face. All good stuff. The battery is what we call DC. So all your batteries, your car batteries, everything like that, these are DC power. But we need to run AC. So what we have is what's called an inverter. The inverter takes the DC power and inverts it to AC so you can plug in your CPAP machine, your razor, your laptop. This is a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter. It's actually on the small side because it's made for camping and RV type stuff which people don't run full households off of and what they can they just need a larger inverter. So a thousand watts means that it'll handle your devices up to a thousand watts. Pure sine means that it can take and power a sensitive piece of electrical equipment like a laptop and not have a bunch of uh, noisy energy to mess up your uh, clarity on your uh, computer. So what, the real simple process, I love this, this Renogy product because it's got a little diagram here that shows a picture of a solar panel. The solar panel is wired to this port. And it's got a little picture of a battery. The cables leave the con charge controller and go to the battery. And then effectively, the battery comes with cables. The battery connects to red is positive, black is negative. The battery connects to the back side of the inverter. So you connect like that. Once you get all hooked up, you have an on and off switch, you have electricity here and here. You take the panel, you face it towards the south or to the sun, and you will be in San Diego. We get about five hours of electrical power. This is so simple. The reason why I'm showing you this is because we sell this as a kit. The solar with the inverter, with the charge controller, with all the cables is about 700 bucks. This battery, it's a deep cycle, uh, SLA, sealed lead acid or AGM. And this one actually uh, sells for 110 amp hours, I believe, 170 bucks. Completely self-contained. If you need to add more batteries, you can you can go to a bigger battery, which I'm not crazy about. I think this is a very manageable size. She weighs about 70, 75 pounds. She has a handle. You can take another battery, second battery, and actually hook the second battery to this battery and double. So you have 220 amp hours and you can add another one and triple it and just keep building your bank if you needed to. Hey, that's my that's my thing about solar. The thing I will the takeaway here is <clears throat> if you buy a solar kit, the most important thing, believe it or not, is the charge controller. Because the charge controller, if you go cheap on the charge controller, it probably will not last and you effectively may not do a good job of charging your battery, which is what we depend upon. Solar panels. They can come in mono, they can come in poly. People always ask which is better. Um, I think the experts would tell you that the mono crystalline, meaning the mono has one clear cell, you can see one continuous square, is uh, the, most, the most efficient panel, okay? And um, yeah, that's about it. So if you have any questions, shoot us a message. We do have these kits available for sale. We always have the batteries. And thank you for watching and please subscribe. Talk to you soon.